So today's video is a tutorial on this look right here. It's using the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette. A tutorial using this palette has been requested since I reviewed it and during the move, I lost it. I lost this and like five other palettes. Had a little bit of a meltdown, thought they were gone for good and I finally found this in a box of stuff that I had not opened yet. Which is weird because I don't remember packing makeup in that box but... Anyway, obviously this isn't a very like natural like makeup look. I thought it would be fun to play around with some glitter like on the lash line and just to use like pinks on the lid. I used mainly like these colors right here and this really pretty coral. So yes, this is the look I came up with. I'm French now. I hope you enjoyed this video and I don't know why I'm wearing this shirt. This shirt totally doesn't go with this look, but honestly didn't know what I was doing. I was, it was just with the shirt I was wearing, so hashtag lazy. If you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I've already primed my lids and now I'm taking this color right here in the palette and I'm applying this color into my crease as my transition shade. Now, all of these colors have like individual numbering, but it doesn't show up on the actual palette. So I will leave a list down below of the shades I used and like the numbers that correspond to each shadow. I will leave it all in the description box. So now I'm taking this really pretty pinky cranberry shade and on a flat shader brush, I'm applying this to my entire lid. I'm grabbing my Fix Plus and I'm spraying my brush, dipping it back into that eyeshadow and plopping it right back onto my eyelid to just intensify that color even more. Now I'm going to take this really beautiful coral shade and I'm going to apply this into my crease with a little fluffy brush. I actually got this brush in my Ipsy bag. Um, that video will go up after this video. Sorry it's taking me so long to post it, but yeah, it's a really nice little blending brush. And I'm just applying that everywhere in my crease. I'm taking these two shades, one is a more pinky champagne and the other one is more gold and I'm using that to highlight my brow bone and then this shade right here, it's like a really pretty pink iridescent, I don't know, it's beautiful and on my flat shader brush I'm just popping that right into the center of the lid just so that like it looks like the light catches the center of the eyeball if that makes sense. So okay, really quickly I'm going to do my face. Okay, this is the Hourglass Primer Serum and... This has changed the game for me. I want you guys to see how this makes my skin look. I do not recommend this for anybody except super, super, super dry skin because it's pretty much like an oil for your face. But matte foundation lies beautifully on top of it for me. I couldn't use like matte foundation so much before, but it's amazing as you can tell by my face. I really love it. So on top of that, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me uh, foundation in 120. And I'm just dotting that on my entire face. And of course, Danny has to, you know, interrupt. He works all day in the sun, so he's like a different color. <laughs> it's funny. So I'm blending that into my skin with my makeup, oh, excuse me, with my Makeup Geek stippling brush, like foundation stippling brush. I love this. This is the best brush for foundation. And I'm just buffing that right into the skin. I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is in light, no, this is in fair neutral. I keep forgetting the name, but it's in fair neutral. And I'm applying that underneath my eyes and just highlighting the rest of my face. Honestly, I can't, like I can't use any other concealer recently because this concealer is the best out there. I'm also gonna use that concealer to like sharpen the eyeshadow a bit. And yeah, I just blend it in. You guys have seen me do that a million times, so I just skipped that, but. I'm taking this yellowy powder in the NYX contour kit and I'm using that to set my under eye concealer. It's kind of like their banana shade, I think that's what it's called. So yes, this is an e.l.f. brush I used to set it. I'm taking this Mr. Right Now eyeliner by The Balm. I'll leave the shade name below, but it's a really pretty gray and I just put that on my waterline and my tight line as well. Then I'm taking this beautiful matte purple and I am putting this on my lower lash line with a pencil brush. It's such a pretty purple, I love it. Then I'm just gonna drag that purple. Okay, this is gonna be hard to explain, but you can see what I'm doing. I'm just dragging the line upward so it can match like the top of my eyelid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Back into this cool shade with that same pencil brush, I'm just blending that purple out a little bit so that all the colors can like flow together and match. To highlight my inner corners, I'm just using the same two shades I used to highlight my brow bone. Now I'm taking this Lit Cosmetics Glitter, it's amazing, and the Lit Cosmetics Adhesive. And here I'm showing you the glitter, hoping, hoping it doesn't fall everywhere, but it's such a pretty red with like a bunch of pink little, I don't know, it's really beautiful. This is a Tarte brush, I'm not exactly sure the name, but it's like their eyeliner brush. And I'm just applying this really, really close to my upper lash line, just like if it was liquid liner, you know, like a typical black liquid liner. I'm doing that just with glitter instead. And I really like how it turned out. It's just a little touch. You can only tell when your eyes are closed, but it's really pretty. I like it. So I'm packing on the mascara to my top and lower lashes as well. This is the Clinique Bottom Lash. And then I'm applying some Demi Wispies to my eyelashes, and that completes the eyes. So, moving on to the rest of the face. I'm taking the Cooler Toned Contour Powder in the NYX Contour Kit, and I'm using this to just hollow out my cheekbones and to contour, you know? because it's a contour kit. And then to just warm up my skin just a little, I'm taking the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster Bronzer with my Sigma Duo Fiber Brush. Almost forgot the name. And I'm just adding a little bit of warmth to the face. For blush, I'm using the NYX blush in the shade Mauve. It looks so pretty like with any look and since the eyes are so like bam and colorful, I wanted to go pretty light on the blush. And for the highlight, um, I'm using one by NARS. It's, it's, a, it's a blush, but it is not a blush. It's called Reckless. And at first I didn't like this because it has a little bit of glitter in it, but it is really, really pretty once applied to the cheeks. I don't know, for some reason it's not showing up on camera, but it's pretty intense and I like it. And I'm using a Real Techniques eyeshadow brush. So to finish up the look, I'm using the Fergie Daily Lipstick by Wet n Wild. And then that completes this makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!